Alright peeps, welcome back to another episode of Ark on the Ragnarok map, where in the last episode we got this awesome Triceratops, and bluey, bluey coloured on the face there. Um, and in between episodes I built this base defence wall, uh, apart from the back, to stop intruders from killing all of our stuff. And I kept this open for the view, and, you know, if something is really wanting to get us, they will come around the back, but for the main three incoming sides, we are good. So, today's episode, stuff I want to get done, I want, oh, why is, where are all these textures wigging out? I don't know. Anyway, I'd like to get a spyglass, I'd like to get a flyer, and if possible, I'd like to get a more powerful ground dino. Maybe the Megalosaurus, depending on what level it is. And I don't know whether to go for the Spyglass or the Flyer first. Because if we go for the Flyer first, we won't be able to see what level it is until it lands. For instance, this one. Looks like it's coming in for a landing. Nope, see? It'll take forever to see what level they are. We don't go for the Flyer first. We'll have to go on foot to get crystal. And I have no idea how that would go. <laughs> so, I'm kind of thinking we'll see about going on foot first. We'll take the trike. Maybe level it up on the way. As you can see, i got a bunch of berries. Uh, let's head out the proper way instead of going around the wall. Uh, can I please open the gate? Thank you. So I've got it set to auto-close, but manual open. And I guess we'll head up there. Oh, that's a T-Rex in our face. <laughs> Hello, in fact, depending on the level, we might be able to take it on. He doesn't appear to be doing too much damage to us. And we're keeping it at bay. Yeah, this is a low-level Rex. <laughs> okay, so there are Rexes up here, apparently. I didn't even see that thing. Level 50. Actually, this can get us some prime meat. Not that we have a good pickaxe, that's another thing we need. We need to get metal tools and better armor going. I'm going to find us a good pteranodon. Well, not good pteranodon, just a pteranodon that we can tame. And actually, what we might do first, what might be a brilliant idea to do first, is kill this dillo. Come here. kind of annoying the knockback sometimes, when you're fighting something so slow. Okay, let's try and avoid that. Okay. Dillo down. Hi, hyena. Are these things, like, aggressive or not? No, they run off. Huh, I thought they were aggressive. Maybe that's only if the pack leader is around them. Alright, let's get in here. Off you. Uh, the prime is spoiled. <laughs> and get all of this. Okay. What we need to do is get maybe even a crossbow and some tranquilizer arrows, and then we can knock out the pteranodon really easily. Let's see what I've got in here, just random stuff. And there. Uh, right, so what we need first is forges, right? So, forge. Uh. Fiber, flint, hired, stone, and wood. Why does it need so many things? No one knows. Okay, this, this, and stone. And more stone. Okay. How many can we make? One. We need more stone and wood. Okay, well, I guess we're going to be making one forge, peeps. <laughs> uh, okay. You. In a place. Where's a good place? Right here. There we go. Now we can start cooking up the metal. Actually, we have a bit more in here. You and you. Light the fire. Right, so I'm going to cook some metal, I'm going to make a smithy, I'm going to get us some metal tools going, and I'm going to collect more wood and stone so we can make more forges. I'm going to make tranquilizer arrows, which means I'm going to need to make mortar and, mortar and pestles, or porter and mestles, as I call them. And... Uh, yeah. What else? You find a pteranodon, bring you guys back once all that has happened, 
And, and then we'll be able to do things. Yeah. I will see you guys in a second. You take this. Okay. Alright guys, so I have gone ahead and made us 25 stone arrows, 20, uh, not, uh, trank arrows, we have some narcotic here. More crafting up back at the base, we have a crossbow ready to be loaded. A metal pick, and I think that's pretty much it. Uh, I moved the dillos out of the base because, weirdly, it seems that S plus has lost its no collision thing that it's always had. If if we look, it, can we get in? The smithy had to be placed with a massive gap behind it, like a regular smithy. No idea why. Like it's S plus, as you can see right there, S plus smithy, but it didn't place with no collision, which was really strange. And I couldn't see a config option to change it. So I guess we're gonna have to think of S plus as just. Vanilla Ark only picking things up, which I mean is fine, but yeah, may as well have just done Vanilla Ark with the Builder's Helmet. Um, but anyway, now what we're going to do is we're going to head, I guess either this way or this way, try and find a Pteranodon, uh, knock it out, in fact, something we need to do, I've just remembered is we need to get some bowlers because they will stop our Pteranodon from running away. Can I remember what they need? No, let's just get random amounts of everything until... And then look and like, yay, I got it right, only... Oh, no, only not really, let's see. Five should be plenty. I'd agree, that'll take a minute. Um, yeah, I'm thinking at least a level 50 or 60 would be good. I mean... All we really need is something to get us some um, crystal for a spyglass, but at the same time, I don't want to get something completely rubbish, because then there won't be any point, will it, in fact? Let's take that off the bar. Like so. Got some more levels to spend as well, and I have no idea what to, what to put them into. Um, let's see, there's a, is that a Tyrannodon or a Pelagornis? I think that's a Pelagornis. Which way should we head? Let's see, I'm thinking this way. Okay guys, so this 145RG is attacking us and I can't really do anything but kill it right now because I don't have enough tranks anyway to tame it and it's gonna kill our trike if we don't kill it first, so... Unfortunately, I am having to kill level 145RG. At least it is some experience for us. Oh, it just came and harvested some dillos I would have been killing over there. So what's that? It's another Rex. Is that another Rex? Yeah, that's another Rex. Um, basically this area right here is extremely dangerous and we shouldn't really be here. <laughs> is kind of what I'm thinking. Hi, Vulture. Um, yeah, that way is bad news. <laughs> Uh, okay, so, I just thought I'd bring you guys back for that, also I got a pike from killing something, getting some more arrows as well, so, it isn't all bad, I'm sorry that I couldn't tame the RG, but really, like, I didn't have a choice, it was going to kill our trike otherwise, and our trike doesn't have enough health to withstand an RG while we try and tame it, so, and anyway, 25 trank arrows will not be enough for a 145 RG. I don't think, I mean, I don't know, but I don't think, also that, is that the level 95 Pteranodon? I don't know, I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'll try bowlering it, but now it's out of range, oh, I guess we're reloading, okay. Let's see, let's give this a go, shall we? Stay still, and... That way! That was an absolute miss. Let's just see though. What are you? No, you're the level 15! Okay, that was a waste of a bowler then. Um, uh, I, I don't even know, peeps. Maybe we won't be able to get a flyer today. But I, I'd like to end the episode with either a spyglass or a flyer. 
And I don't mean a Pelagornis or a Vulture, I mean an actual rideable, doable things with Flyer. And... I bet it's that one out there. That one, right out there. That's the level 95, I... I... I bet. I absolutely bet. And I mean, I bet there's Crystal up there. Tons of it. But there's a T-Rex and Argies and things in the way and in the... I guess we'll try going that way and then if we can't find anything going that way... We will have one last go at trying to get Spyglass. And then I might have to end it there. This is a cool little spot here. That'd be a good base place. Right. If we can get this dr green drop at the same time, it'll be a bonus. Let's see, what level are you? 90! 90! No! Wrong button! Come here! Is that gonna hit? Oh, that was so close. We're gonna get... I was gonna say, we're gonna get you now! Come on. Last one. Sigh. I hit something. <laughs> I hit something with it. Okay. There was like more tarantons. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, okay, let's go over here. Yeah, or, or not. Okay, there we go. Okay, more damages. Okay, we really need bowlers to be able to do anything, I mean... Except there's some bowlers in this green drop. Nope, just... A large, two large storage boxes and a paintbrush. How useful. Let's see, we have... What do we need for a bowler? Uh, hide, fiber, stone and thatch. Uh, bowler and three. Okay, by now that Tyranodon will be long gone. Okay, this and this and... I only crafted one. Oops! Oopsie! Oops. Okay, um... No, I should craft two. Right, all of... just... all of this can go in there. And then we can drop... that and that most of this thatch and some of the wood to save on weight okay where okay that's the 95 right the whitish one I believe so where's the T-Rex down there okay there's one over there and there's is that a tape jar over there I think I saw a tape jar hey, get up the why let me go places hello Tyranodon oh no this is the 95 this is the white one okay okay that hit five it's one hit yes two hits and it's down and it's actually pretty safe up here so now we need to get some prime meat. Which should be relatively easy. If we can kill that Rex. If we can kill that Rex. We'll be able to get some prime meat. To feed to this thing. Uh, let's just make sure we know where it is. It's like on the second ridge up here. Oh I wish I knew what level that was. Is there any crystal here? <laughs> no there's metal though. Um... And let's see, is there anything else that we can get Prime from? It's easier to kill. I don't think so. Okay, another T-Rex time. Wish we were at full health, but can't be helped. But luckily, it's in the water. Which should help our cause here. Hey, T-Rex. Come here. Prepare to get wrecked. By the trike, which is still need to be called Big Blue. Oh, it's so easy. Trikes are actually really OP when you think about it. Because you can keep pretty much any dino at bay. Why are you running away, guy? Come back. I wish to murder your face. Come back. 
No, Pego, stole my fog machine. Whatever, I can make another. Okay, come here. Why is it running? Okay, come on, come on, come on. I don't want the thingy to wake up and don't go towards it either. Let's run over this way. Get out of here. Okay. It's okay, now going this way. Get out the way! Pego! Okay, this Rex is bugged or something. Because it isn't attacking back. <laughs> Ark, fix your game! Okay, come on, come on, come on. No, come back here! Come back here! Yeah, stamina. Okay, well. So much for epic battle versus T-Rex. I mean... Is it coming for us now? No, it's running again. Guy! What's the matter? Get... get dead. Okay, now it's attacking me. Oh, it's actually doing quite a bit of damage to me. Luckily we can still keep it at bay. Okay, this, I think, is probably around a level 70, if I was to guess. We got this. It's pretty bloody. The Tyrannodon shouldn't wake up. And we should be able to give it this, this prime from this Rex. Okay. Don't think we would have survived this if it had if it had attacked us the, the entire battle. 130 what? Okay. Please don't steal my stuff, whatever you are, thing. You. Don't don't steal. There we go, there we go. Get over here. Let's put all this prime away so it doesn't spoil too quick. Uh, we don't need any of this uh, or this or most of this thatch still. I'll take this actually, that's really cool. Um, quick detour to put that on my head. <laughs> That way. Level melee damage. Three levels from that Rex. We're now level 222, or our trike is at least. Alright, come on, let's get back up to our Tyranodon. Finally get a get a flyer tamed up with the prime. Come on, come on, come on. Faster, faster, faster. <laughs> uh Pego, why? Ugh. I'm probably worrying too much about it waking up. Okay, there goes the Pego. Got another level, nice. I want to get back to our Tranodon. Okay. Let's see, I believe it is over there. I think I see it actually. Okay. Get over here. I'm up this ridge, because I think this is where we got before. Yep, there it is. Alright, let's get the prime out. Get off. Oh wow, it actually was pretty woken up here. Let's do that. Nice! It didn't need anywhere near as much of that as we thought. <laughs> uh, cancelled. Okay. Give me back this. And actually take some regular meat, so you stop. Oh, we haven't got any regular meat. Oh, actually, no, we got our fog machine back. Thanks, Strike. We got some bows, some armor, which none of it is anywhere near as good as our uh, hide armor. We need one of those. We don't need any of this. Or this. Or these. We'll take these. Drop this. Okay. Oh, you're hurt. Okay, firstly, let's go ahead, rename you. Uh, wait, no. I said options, change the name. You are gonna be big, big blue. Because you're bluish. Hey there. Okay. Uh, you stop following. 
134, that is actually really good. Okay. And, yep, classic flies is working. Nice, okay, you, you, you follow us. Let's get on you, let's head back. And let's get more melee damage. And let's finally get a Pteranodon saddle. And then end off the episode. Here we are, Pteranodon, welcome to your new home. In fact, no, it isn't, it isn't black. Oh, it's a tiger colour. What are you? Level 15, did that say? Oh, no, sorry, okay. Well, level 15. Th thank you, Pteranodon, you did something useful. What? It stole my stuff. Oh, wait, did you get. 135! Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. No! Passive. Yes, 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 yes. Did you keep any of the spoiled meat? Or not, no, not spoiled meat. Uh, the, the prime meat. No, you didn't. Um, huh. Great. Um, you're okay here, jeez. Um, <laughs> well, hi. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring you in here. Oh, good grief. Okay. We're gonna bring you in here. We're gonna get off. We're gonna look at, uh, her terror. We haven't learned it yet. Uh, per per pterodon saddle. Uh, da, da, da. What do we need? Titan keratin fiber and hide. I believe we have all of this. No, we don't have the. We don't have that. No. No, 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 no. Don't do me like this game. No. Uh, this and these and all of this away. All on all, all of. All of the things, no. All of the things, go away. Reload you. Okay. Uh, um, bleh, I don't even know what. Whoa. Orangey much? No. 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 Uh, neutral. Okay. Nice. You should take 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 care of that. Uh, let's get on you. Uh, <laughs> he's just floating there. Nice! Uh, the, uh. Get on my... Well, okay, there we go. Now I'm worried about that Megalosaurus coming over here and killing the, the, this Toronto... Okay, brief. This episode just got real really quickly. Where did the Dillo go? Oh, it killed it. Nice. Um... Passive again. Follow me. You come over here. Um. Okay. Uh. Passive to everyone. Then. Um. Bleh. Let's see. What is your unconscious meter? Oh, I was going down. No. Okay. Let's give you. Some of that. Then let's unfollow you, and you should land like in a good spot, please. Not too far away. Okay. Maybe we should try and take on that Megalosaurus. It might give us some um, prime. Hello. Okay. I don't know where it went. Oh, uh, grief. Okay, well, I guess this episode is going on a bit longer than Peeps. I mean, <laughs> on a 135 Pteranodon, that's awesome. Just hope we can find something to get it tamed up. If all else fails, we can give it some regular meat. I mean, the Prime tamed the other one's super quick. Um, I don't like... I've got the timer set to a bit longer because the trike took so long. Okay, for now, let's head back, let's give it regular meat... Um, if we, if that Tyrannodon, if our other Tyrannodon hadn't eaten it all, we would have had plenty, but unfortunately it did consume it all. Also, I think that the Megalosaurus 
despawned or something because it isn't here. Okay, let's kill the turtle. Kill the turtle, get some meat. Uh, fog machine, thank you. <laughs> oh, fog machine for the win, okay. Let's kill you. Just shoving it up the rock. Okay. Die, turtle! Right. Auto clicker! Do yo thing! Goodbye, 140 carbon diminimines. Give to me the meats and the keratins, because we need those for the saddle, actually. Okay. Pteranodon! Uh, sorry, we're not giving you the bestest of the meats, we do not have access to these meats right now. We are giving you the next best thing, it is called raw meat. Um, yeah, tame it effective business isn't that bad anyway. That should tame it fine. Alright, you are doing good. I'm gonna give you a few more of those, just in case. I mean, as long as it stays above 99%, we'll get the same taming effectiveness anyway, because it counts the extra amount of levels according to the percentages in, like, increments of 1. The 0.5, whether it's 0.1 or 0.9, it doesn't make any difference. If it was 100%, like, an immediate tame, you'd have got probably one extra level because of that. But, as I said, it really doesn't matter. So what kind of noises are you making, guy? Jeez. Okay. You, um, what we need is really to get a saddle going so we can sh shift these guys. Especially the one that's actually awake and alive. Uh, 23. I think we need 70. 75? I don't know. Actually, what I might do at this point, guys... I guess I might end the episode here, because I don't know how on earth I'm going to edit this down. Like I said that about TerraTech two days ago, but seriously, I, I have no idea how, how I'm going to edit this down. Also, it's raining, which makes for great YouTube. Yes. Why is it like a square? It's, oh, like a circle of, of non-rain right above us. Whoa! Okay, uh, <laughs> that's quite cool, actually. It looks like when, when Star Wars is going into hyper hyperspace, it's like... Meh. Okay, that probably just got really pixelated because YouTube and OBS and everything and Movie Maker compressing everything down into smaller file sizes and ruining the quality of everything, but yes, okay, uh, peeps, I'm gonna end it here. I will see you guys in the next episode with hopefully a tame Pteranodon, that's better than this one. I'll get the keratin or chitin or whatever, the, the chi... 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 chi Tenonin that we need for a saddle for this one and and then for this one like either one I mean hold on female male we could even make trendodon babies would you like that then we can get a super amazing trendodon or just a derpy one that doesn't really do much anyway I'll see you guys in the next one I hope you guys enjoyed the episode I certainly did even if it did take about a year to complete and finish and um, get things done. But uh, if you did enjoy it, then go ahead and hit that like button down below and show your support for the series. We, we look like a T-Rex, kind of. <laughs> Our beard is, is kind of... It, it, it's got a, a self-combing option with, with the lower jaw of the T-Rex hat thing. Uh, yeah, comment if you wish, subscribe if you have not... If you <laughs> If you have not already, and I will see you all in the next episode of Ark Survival Evolved Ragnarok. Isn't that right? Yes. And, and you as well, once you wake up. It shouldn't be long. Any second, actually. Right? Let's see you get down to 50. Or no. No. Longer. But, uh, yeah. As I say, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Ooh, wow.